To Tel Aviv now, where cash-strapped Israeli students have a new way to relieve their financial plight. They can get easy money by simply posting positive tweets and clicking the like button in all the right places. That's after authorities came up with the idea of offering youngsters salaries and even scholarships for the protection of the government's interests and fighting anti-Semitism on the web. Ironically, though, the father of the digital diplomacy program has now come under fire for posting racist comments, the very thing he was meant to be preventing. Paula Slea takes up the story. Public opinion against Israel is at an all-time low. Recent wars with Gaza and the seemingly never-ending occupation have left the country waging a PR war. This is a very massive wave of this false propaganda and, and attempts to digital, de uh, legitimize you know, our right to defend ourselves and even our right to live uh, in our historic land. So we have to do everything to tell the truth. For 65 years, Israeli diplomats have struggled in their posts. In the modern world, they need all the help they can get. Enter the undergrads. The idea is to pay students to tweet pro-Israeli propaganda. Lidor Bar-David has been doing it for a while, but as a volunteer. It's another way to a student to give back to society. Even in Israel, you have a bunch of people, if, uh, a few uh, people at the Foreign Affairs Ministry office uh, who, da, who, do, who do social media uh, for their living. So uh, it's okay for people to get a salary uh, on this kind of work. The new student sales force will share a PR commission pot of nearly a million dollars. And in universities across the country, they'll eventually even receive scholarships for waging Israel's digital diplomacy. But before these new recruits could even start tweeting, liking or hashtagging, there was a PR blunder. The guy tapped to head the social media advocacy has already been put to pasture. Take a look at his Facebook page. Daniel Seaman is known for being abrasive to the foreign media. But that's not all. Seaman called Palestinians stupid in an expletive-laden rant. Critics pounced, taking the opportunity to question the basic ethics of the new approach. So you're basically turning a human being into a human commercial. Uri Agnon is a second-year philosophy student who says he won't be signing up. He's angry with his government trying to tell him what to think. Instead of trying to make Israel uh, a good democracy, for instance, giving out scholarships for people that will try to make this place a better place, he gives out scholarships for people to say that it's a good place. I mean, if this was such a good place, then these people would tell it anyways. Those in opposition say there will be some major whitewashing and using students to tweet pro-Israeli propaganda is part of that. I think the Prime Minister's office is trying to cover up the human rights violations that are happening by paying young folks to be involved. I think he'd be better off investing the funds in, in education, in infrastructure, in community development that he hasn't done in, uh, in decades. Israelis are no stranger to war, but at the online front line, it's an unenviable battle to turn public perception of Israel from zero to zeitgeist. Paulus Lear, RT, Tel Aviv.